Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Noor. Lovely to meet all of you guys again. So today I have a small little book haul that I want to share with you guys. I know I did a May book haul but um, this is really really small so I just wanted to put it in and show it to you guys. So I would say this would be my May book haul part 2 but it's really small so I will tell you why it's small. So I got seven books here and it's this seven books. Yes, and it is a Penguin Little Black Classics. Um, I got all seven of this just today. So I decided to make a video out of it. I really love these Little Black Classics, Penguin Little Black Classics, mainly because they're really, really tiny. It's very easy to put it in your bag and you can bring it everywhere you want. And at the same time, it's very good as an introductory piece to the authors. And some of these authors, I well, most of these authors I've never read uh, before. And I feel like this little black classics. Great, my lights just went off. Hi, I'm back again. <laughs> so where was that? Yeah. So I feel like this little black classics is great for introdu introductory pieces to the author's work and at the same time it's great for gifts and at the same time it's, it is great to bring around to bring around um, in your bags whenever you're commuting and it's good as book buffers in between books that you want to read for the month so without further ado let's get on to it the first book that I got is Aphorisms on Love and Hate by Friedrich Nietzsche uh, Friedrich Nietzsche is a German philosopher and he writes a lot of things about philosophy and yep, all of that stuff. I've heard of him before because my boyfriend reads a lot of philosophy. So he was the one who introduced to me Nietzsche. I have no, no idea how to pronounce his name. Therefore, I, I kind of knew him but I have never read anything from him. Yeah, I'm just really excited to, to read his work and um, to see what it is about. So yeah, that is the first one. Um, the second one is The Figure in the Carpet by Henry James and Henry James is um, famous for The Portrait of a Lady. I've seen that book around but again I've never read anything from him before. Um, and basically this is a late Victorian mystery kind of story and yeah I don't know so much about it but that's the second one. <laughs> the third one I got is Oscar Wilde's Lord Arthur Seville's Crime. Now when I got this, I was very, very excited because it's Oscar Wilde and he was the one who wrote Picture of Dorian Gray. And then I realized that this is actually in my edition of The Picture of Dorian Gray along with two other short stories. So technically I have two of his works now. Um, but nevertheless, it's tiny and it's separate so I could just bring it around in my bag whenever I want to pick up this from Oscar Wilde so yeah and I believe this is a tale of a murder in London so yeah that's all I know <laughs> uh, following on this is I'm pretty sure everybody knows this person or this two person is the Brothers Grimm and it's called the Rubber Bridegroom and the Brothers Grimm is very famous for the Grimm fairy tales they are basically Germans who wrote German folklore and their folklore are mainly dark and twisted so yeah, I'm just very interested to see their work. I've heard a lot about them. I've been very interested to read more fairy tales from them. So this is just a short copy that I can indulge in. And I do know that there is snow, snow white inside here and the monster huntsman. So there's only two fairy tales that I'm quite familiar with. So yeah, very excited for this. The other three... Um, Penguin Little Black Classics are the latest edition, so they're a little bit more expensive as compared to the first four. Um, the first four I got for two dollars. The other three I got for two sixty eight. So, anyway, these three they are very interesting because they are poetry or prose, uh, and I am currently trying to indulge more in poetry and to read more poems and yeah, just to change my um, reading content. And reading genres so I feel like this is perfect because they're small short sweet and cheap 
So let's get on to it. Uh, first I got is The World is Full of Foolish Men by Jean de la Fontaine. I know she's French or he. Is it he or she? Let me just, just see. Um, um, you never say. You never say it's a he or a she, but I know La Fontaine is French and is translated by James Michi. So it's just a poetry about um, fables, I think. So it's very interesting because there are pictures in it, which is adorable. So yeah, very excited to be reading this. And yeah, just very excited for this. Next off, I get I got <laughs> I have here is Tiger Tiger by William Blake, and this is a poetry collection too. And Tiger Tiger is a collection of stories about heaven and hell, innocence and experience. Hmm, very very deep. Um, so yeah, just interested to read this and see how how it goes. And the last one I got is by Emily Dickinson, and it is My Life had stood a loaded gun and it's basically electrifying poems of isolation, beauty, death and eternity from one of America's great, greatest writers. Um, so it's very short, as you can see it's not absolutely long but it's just a collection of her poems and it's taken from Complete Poems in 1933. So yeah, just so excited to read Emily Dickinson and read more poetry. So guys, these are the seven books that I got. Um, yep, they are really short. And I've been trying to collect more of these Penguin Little Black Classics. I hope to have a collection in the future and to show you guys. I do know they have a lot more that are being produced other than the first 80. I think right now they have 126. And... Um, I think the shorter ones are a little bit more cheaper. This is two dollars and sixty-eight cents, and the thicker ones are five dollars something Singapore dollars. Um, so this is a pound, yes, and the thicker ones are two pounds. So yeah, the, the price varies, but nevertheless, I am absolutely excited to be reading all of this and to check out all of these um, authors' works, and hopefully to be buying those other books in the future and to have a collection all 126 of it yep okay guys so share me in the comments down below if you have any penguin little black if you have any little black classics and if you have read any of these books um, tell me what you feel about them and share with me what are your favorites from the little black classics and um, yep yeah. Thumbs up this video if you have enjoyed watching this and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more book related content from me. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Chill out and good night. <laughs>